Scientists have trained a goldfish to steer a small land vehicle. Researchers are still looking for ways to better understand animals' navigation skills. Do they depend on the species? Or maybe from the environment or the size of the brain? Wanting to see if goldfish are able to navigate in alien, terrestrial environments. Scientists put them, behind the wheel, of a rather unusual vehicle. It turned out that the fish's understanding of space and navigation is not limited to their natural environment. Goldfish, with the help of a small aquarium on wheels, perfectly steer in a terrestrial environment. Research so far has shown that some animals have surprising abilities. For example, rats can drive small cars and can use them to get to their destination. In new work, Scientists in Israel have discovered that goldfish, Carassius auratus, have similar abilities. A team of scientists from Ben Gurion University of the Negev taught goldfish how to navigate with the help of a special land vehicle, FOV, fish operated vehicles. It is a small aquarium mounted on a wheeled frame. In the journal Behavioral Brain Research, researchers describe the craft, how the fish learn to use it, and their navigation skills. The team equipped the FOV with a camera, processor and lidar system aimed at the fish in the tank. Lidar and camera were used to determine where the animal is in the aquarium as well as where the aquarium is in relation to its surroundings. The processor used this data to make decisions for the fish in which direction to move the FOV, when the fish was heading in a certain direction in the aquarium. The vehicle was moving in that direction. The researchers then let the fish wander around in their small tanks and thus shift the FOV. Then they gave them a goal, if they achieved one of them. They received an immediate food reward. Over time, the scientists discovered that the fish understood that their actions could influence the FOV movement in desired ways, leading them to a tasty reward. The team then changed the environment. The animals drove their vehicle both indoors and outdoors, and the targets and obstacles became different. It turned out that the fish had no problems adapting and went straight for the reward, demonstrating their ability to use FOV to navigate and reach the desired places. An enzyme has been discovered that breaks down plastic in record time. German scientists have discovered a highly efficient enzyme that breaks down polyethylene terephthalate PET, in record time. An enzyme called PHL7 which researchers found in a cemetery composter in Leipzig, could make it possible to recycle one of the world's most used plastics much faster than previously thought. Researchers argue that this opens up new possibilities for recycling plastics. Plastic waste has become a serious problem. Billions of tons of unwanted plastic pile up in landfills. But in addition to landfills, they are also present in all seas and oceans and have become one of the main pollutants. They remain in the natural environment, practically non-biodegradable and can survive for hundreds of years. Every year, several million tons of plastic waste ends up in rivers and coastal waters, from where it is spread around the planet. The movement of waves and solar radiation mean that plastic garbage is gradually broken down into smaller and smaller fragments, until they become barely noticeable particles, which are referred to as microplastics. That is why scientists have been looking for a way to deal with the problem of plastic waste in the environment for years. They are looking for a way to force plastics to degrade faster. Research is being conducted in various directions. Some scientists focus on enzymes. In a recent publication in the journal Chemsys Chem, researchers from the University of Leipzig described the enzyme PHL7, which breaks down PET in record time. One of the ways enzymes are used in nature is by breaking down plant parts. 
It has been known for some time that some enzymes can also break down PET into its basic components. About 70 million tons of this material are produced annually, the vast majority of which ends up in the natural environment. By studying various enzymes, the researchers came across several candidates that could help recycle plastics. Last year in Austria, scientists discovered enzymes in the digestive systems of cows that can break down plastic, including PET. However, among enzymes capable of dealing with plastic, LCC has been considered the most effective so far. Researchers from Osaka University found it in 2012 in a compost pile. This enzyme, known as leaf branch compost cutinase, LCC, has evolved to deal with the protective wax coating on the leaves of many plants, but it can also deal with PET. However, it breaks down quickly at 65 degrees Celsius, the temperature at which PET starts to soften, which would allow the enzyme to break down the plastic more easily and quickly. To remedy this, the researchers introduced mutations to the enzyme that improved its ability to break down PET plastic and made it more resistant to higher temperatures. Now, German scientists have announced the discovery of an even more effective enzyme, PHL7, which broke down PET in the laboratory at record speed. A team led by Dr. Christian Sonnendecker from the University of Leipzig found the enzyme at the Sudfriedhof Cemetery in Leipzig, in a sample taken from a compost heap. Plant compost is home to thermophilic microorganisms that break down plant polymers, so it can also be a valuable source of enzymes that break down polyester, the team explained in the paper. In total, the researchers identified seven enzymes that break down plant polymers in the cemetery samples, of which PHL7 showed particular promise. The researchers studied various enzymes, but PHL7 achieved the best result in the lab, well above average. Scientists compared it to the one previously considered the most effective, i.e. LCC. But first, the researchers introduced the PHL7 gene into laboratory cultures of E. coli, and the bacteria now produce the PHL7 enzyme. In the experiments, they added PET flakes to containers with an aqueous solution containing PHL7 or LCC. They then measured the amount of plastic that had degraded over a certain period of time and compared the values with each other. Result, within 16 hours, PHL7 decomposed 90% pieces of PET. At the same time, LCC managed to degrade only 45%. Plastic. To better illustrate what we are dealing with, the researchers used the example of a plastic container in which grapes are sold in a supermarket. Such a container can be deployed with the PHL7 in less than 24 hours. Importantly, PET is broken down into terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, which can then be reproduced into new PET. Scientists have discovered that a single building block of the enzyme is responsible for this above-average activity. Analyzers have shown that the enzyme has the amino acid leucine at key points in its protein structure, while other enzymes that break down polyesters have phenylalanine at this point. The researchers say this exchange apparently facilitates the binding of the enzyme to the PET and may at least partly explain the higher degradation efficiency. Biological recycling of PET has some advantages over conventional recycling methods, which are mainly based on thermal processes where plastic waste is degraded at high temperatures. These processes are very energy intensive, and the quality of the plastic decreases with each recycling cycle. Enzymes require only an aqueous environment and a temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Celsius for their work. 
Another advantage is that they break down PET into its components to rephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, which can then be reused to produce new PET, creating a cycle that enables a true circular economy. As the authors of the study admitted, the new PET obtained in this way has properties comparable to those of commercially produced PET. However, as the scientists admitted, biological recycling is in its infancy and has so far only been tested in pilot plants. The enzyme discovered in Leipzig can make an important contribution to the development of alternative energy-efficient processes for recycling plastics, said Wolfgang Zimmermann of the University of Leipzig, due to the huge problems caused by the global environmental burden of plastic waste. It is becoming increasingly important to find environmentally friendly methods of reusing plastic in a sustainable circular economy. The biocatalyst developed in Leipzig has proven to be very effective in rapidly decomposing used PET packaging and is suitable for use in an environmentally friendly recycling process where new plastic can be produced from the decomposition products. He added, researchers in Leipzig hope that the newly discovered enzyme can speed up the transformation in plastics processing and are looking for industrial partners for this purpose. They hope that PHL-7 will be used in practice. They are confident that the improved efficiency of their enzyme will significantly reduce recycling costs.